What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today we're going to cover the latest news from the weekly update. Now if you guys want to read the whole article, you will find it linked in the video description. I'm just going to cover parts I feel will interest you most, so let's get into it. Okay, so the dawning themed armour, that sexy ass looking shit we saw from the trailer and various other places. We now have some high res images of the shit and damn it looks as sexy as I thought it would do in high res. Now this armour is acquired through treasure of the dawning packages brought for silver from Eververse. Whether or not though they will be handed out in any other way still hasn't been made clear by Bungie. Most probably meaning that there ain't any other way of getting them. They talk about the armour being inspired by a helmet concept originally designed by Joseph Cross. I'm not gonna lie they need more shit inspired by this dude as these look amazing. Interestingly the Titan armour set here, Bungie state, we relied on our new friends at High Moon Studios specifically. They also talk about future and further collaborations, even though they worked on Destiny way 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 back with them. Moving on, with the dawning next week we will be getting a few changes in terms of a new patch, the 2.5.0. Let's see what's happening. Ok so they fixed an issue where some players did not receive the student of history trophy aka achievement or sigil of the young wolf emblem for attuning all the rise of iron artifacts me being one of them to be honest i'd actually forgot about that skeleton keys have been adjusted they've increased the drop rate of skeleton keys in the sea of crisis playlist the sea of crisis heroic playlist and the weekly nightfalls players will also receive a skeleton key for their first weekly nightfall completion Characters who are at level 40 will now automatically convert uncommon engrams into materials on pickup. Brother Vance will now offer passage coins in exchange for marks of the light. Legendary weapons obtained from the gunsmith rank 2 quest can now be repurchased from the gunsmith. And that's about it. All of these changes will come with a dawning event next week. Instill the update and get on with grinding that dawn. Now before I leave you for another day, if you missed the massive news earlier, Bungie have actually made changes to matchmaking settings in PvP. Now there is a statement you can read through if you want to, which I will link also in that video description, but I will read the important part. Quoting Bungie here, we've made a change to the matchmaking system in an effort to increase match quality. Our specific goal is to reduce the number of matches that begin before they fill up with players. To achieve this we are expanding the available skill range for other players earlier and more aggressively. We will also be looking for lower latency matches for longer than before. Essentially this puts a stronger bias on connection quality with less emphasis on skill matching. This may result in slightly longer matchmaking times in some cases. For some of you this could mean that you'll be matched with opponents well outside your skill range. We hope the trade-off is worth it to improve the Crucible ecosystem in general. So they're basically pushing connection based matchmaking. Which is more or less what the most part of the community feels was needed. Me personally I can feel the difference, the connections for the most part are much much better. But I have seen one or two people complain that they are still experiencing bad lag. Let me know how it's been for you down below in that comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by as always and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stay.